All right, today we're going to take a look at the Apex Comments component. Uh, it's pretty cool, something that's playing around with, and I think it'd be really useful in a, in a lot of applications. Uh, for this particular tutorial, we're just kind of a sample query rather than creating a table. Uh, if we run this query, it's going to insert, uh, you know, simulate two comments with the fields that we need uh, for the particular Apex component. Uh, to start with, we're going to go out to our App Builder, and I've already built a blank page. It's called Comments Test here. And on the page, we're just going to simply create a new region. Okay, now the region, we're going to we'll name it comments. Okay, and then uh, we're actually going to go down to region type. And we're going to scroll all the way down here, and there's some new theme components here. We'll select comments. Uh, we're going to set it to query, uh, SQL query. And we'll go ahead and insert the query that we have here. And click OK. Next, we go over to attributes, and uh, we have to tell it, you know, what we want to map. So first and foremost, which column contains the comment text, which comment, uh, you know, column has our username, and which has our date. All right, so we're just going to start there and give you an idea of what this looks like. Go ahead and save it and run it. And you'll see it's very simple, you know, who made the comment and, and what's going on here. Now, some of the cooler things that you can do, uh, you may have noticed in my query, we also have two attributes. You can include custom attributes in this as well. So in this example, we're actually going to have uh, one of our attributes is going to be an image, a uh, link to an image, and the other is going to be a link to a video. Uh, and we'll go ahead and write a little HTML, and we'll see we'll call in these attributes based on their name over here and dynamically when they when our page runs. Now if we run it, we'll see uh, we've added in both the, the picture of the player and we can click on either and open up the, the video and, and take a look if we want to. All right, some of the things that this is uh, has that's, that's pretty cool, um, you can change the display avatar, add or remove it just with a click of a button. And that would simply be, if we remove it, it's going to make the page a little bit simpler in nature. It'll take away uh, the piece over here. Uh, I kind of like it. Um, there's various styles. You know, you can use speech uh, basic, which is what we're doing, or chat and speech bubbles. Um, and your avatar over here has some uh, customizability. You can use the icon, which we're going to use. Uh, you can dynamically generate initials. And if you do the initials, you'll need to add one more column here, right, to, to do that. Um, um, or you can choose image, and you can root it out to an image. But we're just going to leave it for icon for today. Uh, the other thing is, is anytime you have comments, you know, you need a means by which you can easily add comments or remove comments. This video isn't going to build the form, so we'll have a future video. We'll, we'll show you how to really add it. But if you go over here to actions, you can actually create a new action. Um, and we're just going to do actions. We're going to make sure it's a link, and we're going to put up our edit button. And so if we wanted to perhaps edit a column, uh, I'm just going to dummy link it here back to our own page for right now. Uh, we could do that. You can also add things for another one for, say, delete, right? So super easy to, to weave in your, your, your application logic here that you need as well, whatever it may be. All right, and then when I hit run one more time, you'll see that the, the, edit, the links start appearing here to perform the actions that we need. Now in our next video, we'll take a look at how to really build out um, you know, a classic report where you can implement the comments at a row level uh, for users to, to chime in or collaborate on particular data.